is as you compare the projects uh, that are being built, Mystique, without a doubt, is just on a completely different level. We never really found a project that motivated us to make a decision. So one thing we found here is there's so many new projects all the time. There's new construction, new projects being built. Um, and many of them look really nice, really cool. But none of them uh, really inspired us to make a decision to buy. Um, when we came across the Mystique project, uh, I think we knew immediately that this was the one we wanted to invest in. I think first of all, um, location is important in Tulum. So we wanted to be on a, on a major street, right? Some of the places that you see in Tulum are on roads that are so difficult to drive in and they get muddy when it's raining. Um, we wanted to be on a main road. And of course, this project is right on the Avenida Culculcan. Yes. Um, it's easy to get into town to walk or drive. Um, Aldea Zama is right in front of, of the project. That's growing. And there's opportunities. We had a coffee uh, and went for a walk in Aldea Zama this morning. Awesome. Um, and really, you know, it's easy to get to the beach as well. Culculcan is a direct um, uh, pass down to the beach or you can go through Aldea Zama and quickly get to the beach. It's a place that fits the lifestyle. So it is not only a place that you come for a couple of days and you have to make do. I think it, um, the thought, thoughtfulness that I, think, I believe Eric has and attention to detail that Eric has. I mean, we have now been coming here talking to him for a couple of years, others. Um, I think there's just the thought of having the underground parking, the elevators, and the quality of the things that he has, the gym, which is very important to us as well, the yoga place that he has. So I think that overall, when we think about just the attention to detail, the quality of things, and lifestyle, how does it really fit into the lifestyle, that I think is very unique compared to, any, at least for me, any other projects that I've seen so far. We travel a lot and many times uh, we just want to work in a different location than our home in Chicago. Uh, and so one of the things we saw in Mystique was we would be able to work here uh, and at the same time have access to the gym, it's a wonderful gym, uh, be able to use the pool, uh, you know, the yoga facilities. I'm just very impressed. Um, I'm so impressed by the gym if you go there, it's a real gym. It's not yeah. just one or two treadmills, it's a real gym. So again, like I said, the attention to detail, the quality of things that fits your lifestyle day in and out. I think, I didn't expect that in Tulum. I expected to come here maybe for a week or so, but then I have to continue going back to where I come from because I would have that there. I can see us staying here for a while. Is as you compare the projects uh, that are being built, Mystique, without a doubt, is just on a completely different level. Uh, underground parking, which quite honestly, I, I didn't really appreciate as much at first. I thought, okay, that might be nice, but um, when it's raining, when it's hot and sunny or dusty, uh, or even just you need to go out to dinner or, or drive to the beach to just go straight down and get in your car in the underground parking really, really is something uh, I think unique. Honestly, we were amazed at the elevator. Uh, many times buildings that only have a few floors have this extremely slow elevator that's actually annoying to take. And this is a fast elevator, it's a modern elevator. Uh, and again, we were, we were just amazed at even the attention to detail in the elevator uh, is something, something really well done. So if I can just say, you know, we keep talking about this lifestyle. Uh, in the last day or two, We've done yoga here, we've been working here, we've used the gym, uh, we've obviously been swimming in the pools, done some reading down in the chairs by the pools. Uh, it really allows us to live the life we want to live uh, and work if we need to work, but also enjoy the weather and, and the amenities of the building I as well. I think it's the scale of the house where we're staying at also, the ceilings are high, 
Um, again, the quality of things that he has, swimming pools really nice and big to be able to actually swim. Um, the quality of beach chairs that you take a look at. So I really feel that the, the quality is on top of mind. And that's not often seen for developers or contractors where they really hold true to that. For me. Every development in Tulum has a beautiful rendering. That's so the designers in Tulum, uh, the marketers in Tulum create incredible renderings. And over all these years that we've been coming here, we've had the opportunity to compare the rendering to the actual final product or project. And as Tamana says, the, uh, in most every case, it's a huge difference between the rendering and the actual final condominium. Yeah. In the case of Mystique, uh, we've been really amazed, amazed, and we've been talking about it every day. It's not just the same design, or the same dimensions, it's actually the same materials. We don't feel like anything was changed from the rendering. Mm -hmm. um, nothing was changed, uh, which is a great thing because the rendering was outstanding. Really, Tulum is a very special place. It allows you to hang out and enjoy being with people from all over the world, and at the same time, have close contact with locals with the town so close. So come on down. Uh, you'll probably see us here uh, at Mystique on our patio, either working or <laughs> relaxing. And, uh, and we'd love to, to see you down here.